to the no, to the no, 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 no. Hell no, no, to the no, no. We're going to go Disney. Sandra wants the crystal necklace you showed. The ball. Oh, no, no. That was, sweetheart, that was not in the, uh, that lot. This one I said is going to be probably coming up. This oh. one is the Savarsky. This is an Austrian producer of glass that has existed as a family-owned business since its founding in 1895 by Daniel Swarovski. How do you go about pronouncing it in English? Swarovski. 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 Crystal, this is not in that lot. I was just giving you a sneak peek of something I have. This, this is this is not in that lot. Sorry about that confusion. Oh. Okay, that's fine, Sandra. You can pass. That's your prerogative. Okay, you can go back to Holly. I think oh, Binky. 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 I'm selling this for ten dollars. I just can't get comfortable. They were supposed to give me some pain pills when I went to pick them up. They gave me my high blood pressure pills. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I've never heard prerogative being. You know, it wasn't meant rudely. That's your prerogative. You chose to pass, and that's your prerogative. So this one's weird looking. I mean, it's so Sandra, it goes way I don't out. Think Carolyn meant any harm by prerogative. Okay. That's exactly the way that I meant it. It's prerogative is your right. It's your you have a right. It's your right. So if you told me you passed, thank you, Sandra. That's your prerogative. There's nothing rude about what I said, and there was no rudeness implied in any way. entitled to a refund because you refused the package the seller fulfilled their end of the bargain they shipped you the package you refused the package you're not going to get a refund unless and only unless the seller wants to give you a refund and that would probably come on the terms that if they decided on it that the buyer would have to pay the shipping back to the seller and any fees and any and anything that comes along the way because but that seller doesn't even have to give a refund do you understand that because go look it up I'm telling you something so then what but what if they just out and out lie like they buy a gift for someone in the seller's country and they send that gift to that person and that person has that gift for two three months and then that buyer, that buyer just decides to say, oh, you know what? I'm going to go say that I never received that. Even though the seller has the tracking, even though the seller has contacted the person, the recipient, and the recipient has sent photographs that they have the product, that that buyer still goes and reports that items not received, demanding a refund with their card company. That's not right. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. And people do that. And police reports can be filed on that. In fact, that's what is advised is a police report for something like that. Mm -hmm. Because it's theft. It'll be theft under $500, theft under $1,000, but it's theft. And it's fraud. So we're going to be talking about fraud and we're, I'm going to show you the steps that you have to take to combat this fraud and it, it, it will involve law enforcement. You can go like certain steps first. You can try to contact the buyer and then when, if that doesn't work out with the buyer, okay, let's say the buyer was married to a fraud buster, you could try to contact the fraud buster but if the fraud buster then blows you off, then it's time for law enforcement. 
it's time to file a police report. And then the police will go there to those people's residence and they will have the tracking numbers and they will have the witness who is the person that received the package that sent the pictures who doesn't want to be caught up in the fraud. They'll have the testimony of that person. And then they'll also have the tracking numbers of other shipments if they're involved in other shipments that they did this with. Certainly wouldn't look too good if somebody was a fraud buster, but that would prove somebody really wasn't a fraud buster, wasn't it? So that's interesting. Very interesting. So I, I think that's good. I think it will teach people how to take their power back and how not to get scammed. So we'll be um, showing you how to do that. Is that a Wait, oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hey. You called, you, you reached out by email and wrote all kinds of nasty things about Sandra that wasn't true to her husband. Because that's how, what a weak biatch you are. Yep. Wow. You keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Please do. I'm telling you, this, this whole community is going to rally behind Sandra and her husband. I hope she fights this through her bank. I hope we turn PayPal upside down. Everybody hearing this, we're going to go on a campaign because every time you do an auction, what do you do? What do you do, Merv? Friends and family, friends and family, so you don't have to pay taxes. Yep. That's not right. Exactly right. right. You're you know, fraudulent. You're the biggest scammer on this you platform. Friends and family, you can't get protection on your package either. Yes. No. Nope. And she's leaving out the part to everybody over there. If you're going to say anything, say the truth. The truth is you valued the package at an exasperating amount of money when we know your shit isn't even worth that. And then she was expected to pay a large sum to pick that package up. And she did what anybody else would do and sent it back just like you would have did. But you keep leaving that part out and you want to paint the story that she's committing some kind of fraud maliciously. Tell You know the true story. Tell it the way it should be told. She'll never and contacting husbands going real life. Yeah. You sit up there and act like you got all these morals and ethics, but you attack a woman's husband and say awful, horrible things about his wife to him, and you expect him to take your side? Are you crazy? Do you see what Sandra just wrote? That she contacted him on Twitter. Was yes, trolling she did. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you know, that piece of crap going real life. How would you like it if we all just contact all your family members, each one, one by time, one, one at a time, and list all of your griefs, all the shit you do? Like, it's ridiculous. She wouldn't like it. The minute I already knew about contacts, it, Mar, but I didn't say anything because a lot of things that I find out, I keep quiet. That's right. But I tried to tell you the other night stop doing the shit you're doing behind the scenes, but you wanted to make it a bigger war. I got your war with a capital W. I'm sick of your shit. We have not spent a month going through all these things and all these videos to sit back and take your crap. I promise you. This That's community exactly. will rally behind Sandra. Everybody that leaves, you start some kind of lie about how, oh, they didn't ship this, or they didn't pay for that, or they this, or they that. So fucking what? You rip everybody off every time you go live. It's ridiculous. She's had plenty to say about me, too, and I'm not even yeah, over there she's anymore. Yeah, she's dragging all that shit up with you and Jackie, and we just mm -hmm. got through finding that video. We can debunk it again. Mm -hmm. You want to hang your hat on the stupidest shit. Nobody cares about three years ago. Jackie and, and Nana Patty, Lisa D, and everybody else has moved past it. And we're all friends. Yes, yep. I went back and listened to it today. Merv, you don't bother to say how you threatened the whole house that you would pack your stuff and leave if Jackie came yeah. there. Your little cult, cult leader. What were yeah. they going to say? No. They were your friend. They were there minutes. for a vacation the first time. What were they going to do? Say, no, we got to leave. Yeah. You make everybody minutes, fucking agree with you. Act. Even this year, people were calling stuff out during your lives on this vacation. And your friends in the background, oh, oh, yeah, okay, oh, whatever. Makes them herb happy. Uh -huh. Don't look over there. Don't look over there. They may be telling the truth. 
Uh -huh. We share plenty of friends. And if anybody went real life on her and started contacting all her people, oh Lord, there'd be posts and lives and, and community oh posts. She's oh, yeah. she got uh, 50 guest stars six times. And right. I mean, she's been sworn in and done almighty. The list is so long. It's so ridiculous. Get mm -hmm. a fucking job. Get uh -huh. offline and quit hurting people. That's right. I'm going to make a video and list the people that I know you have done things to. Absolutely, 100%. Sick of it. You wicked, sick woman. Mm -hmm. Leave your subscribers yeah. alone. All Sandra ever did was support you. Yep. I'm sorry, Sandra, that you're going through this. Uh, I hate to say it, but welcome to the club, <clears throat> girlfriend. She's, she's very happy with this club. She's feels That's good. very safe with us because she knows she will be. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> there was a post made yesterday. Christian, you may have the picture I sent you. If I you want to show it on the screen, I have no problem. <laughs> because I am not one of your fans. You're not going to win this, Merv. You, you're like a dog with rabies in a cage. You just want to gnaw your leg off trying to save your pathetic little job. ass. She contacted his job. You people sitting over there supporting her are crazy. Paint it black. Let me call you out. Paint it black. Your friend, your old friend, you're sitting there letting this happen to. Oh, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! the hell to the no channel Jeanette it's back again